During our stay here in West Yellowstone, we're going to check out the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center. During our trip to Yellowstone National Park, we stayed two nights in the town of West Yellowstone, Montana, which is adjacent to the west entrance into the park. The town has a population of just over 1,200 people, and it's one of the primary locations for travelers to Yellowstone to find lodging. The Grizzly Wolf and Discovery Center is one of the tourist attractions here in town. Now this park's only open until 7 p.m. and it's about 5.30, so we don't have that much time, but we wanna check out the animals here and we wanna show you what to expect when you're here as well. So we'll be touring all the cool things there are to do here in West Yellowstone. There's also an IMAX theater here. Adult admission is $16.50 and $11.50 for children. Inside the visitor center, they have some really nice displays about the animals that live here in this area. We were short on time because they were only open one more hour, so we didn't spend much time inside the center. We wanted to see the real animals. The first display here on the right was one of the wolf enclosures. It asks you to be quiet in this area. I do not see, oh, they're in the back. Wolves at this park are born in captivity and they live their lives here. They said there are no wolves that are taken out of the wild. <clears throat> they're program animals so that people here can learn about the wolf program. The bears that are in this park are either orphan cubs or they're bears that have had too many uh, interactions with humans and were gonna be euthanized so they bring them here to live instead. And oh, hey, look, I caught the wolf just a quick glance before I walked away. They have another facility you can go inside for different views of the wolf enclosure. I caught a quick glimpse as we entered inside. Here is another habitat that is coming in the future under construction. Now all the birds here in the park were injured in the wild and were brought here to live. this building they have the river otters So here at the park, they do have a schedule of when the grizzlies are gonna come out and which grizzly is out because they're on a rotation. 
So they just let two new grizzlies out and the volunteers are talking to us about the bears. They said one of them's about 16 years old. There's a cooler that's just a Coleman cooler that a bear could very easily open the lid of. And that bear bag is supposed to be tied 10 feet up and 4 feet out from the base of a sturdy tree, which none of it is clearly doing right now. A bear could very easily get that bag down. And it is very likely that is that, that kind of campsite is exactly what Bo was finding over that summer of 2020. And over the 4th of July weekend, he got into a lot of trouble getting into picnics and coolers that were being left unattended. And like Forum, as he's getting these food wars, he's starting to get more comfortable around us. And so eventually someone actually left some food inside their tent while they were away. They believe the inside of a tent was a secure place for your food. But we'll gladly tell you that that is essentially a picnic table to a bear. And he very gladly got into that tent and he ate all of their food. And the really interesting ah. thing there is that bears learn from food experiences. And what Bo learned was that every tent might have food. So he should probably check every tent for food. Mm -hmm. And obviously that is the last thing we want a bear to be learning around here. Now thankfully Bo never explored an occupied tent. Rainbow trout, the pond, so if you want to have a fish, or have fish out there for them. When we came through the center, we asked the guy working here how many of these bears and wolves are in the wild. And the number of grizzly bears was absolutely staggering. It was something like 700,000 between Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons and the National Forest. That is a lot of grizzly bears. The wolves, I think it was something like 120, much, much less. So they also do a really good job of explaining why you need to stay away from the bears. You need to keep your food protected because the bears learn where the food is. And if they have frequent interactions with humans, they will end up getting killed, euthanized. Or if they're lucky, they'll get sent here. So it's a nice place to visit. Now we're gonna head into, now we're gonna exit. They have you exit through the gift shop. Looks like they have a little amphitheater there. Now we're going to head back into town and look for a place to eat.